Hi, I'm Fritz Gaspard, chess teacher at Chess in the Schools in New York City. Chess training game, better known as a chess training board or a demonstration board. A demonstration board differs from a regular chess board in that this is a three-dimensional board and this is basically viewed in two dimensions. Students who are seated in front of the chess trainer you can watch as the chess trainer manipulates the pieces on the chess demonstration board to replay a game that was played by a chess master or a grandmaster or maybe a chess student or a beginning, beginner chess player. On a regular chess board, the ranks are numbered from 1 to 8 on both sides of the board and the files are lettered from A to H also on both sides of the board. That way each player can take a look at the board and figure out where they're moving their pieces and write down the exact square that the piece is going to. Again, letters from A to H, which denote the files, and the numbers from 1 to 8 that correspond to the ranks. Whenever we move a chess piece, we call out the square that the piece is going to. That way the student can follow the moves a little bit better, and we can follow moves played by a professional player or a chess master because we actually recall the game based on the moves that, are, that were annotated or notated. If you're moving a pawn to the e4 square, for example, you might write e4. If you're moving a knight to the f6 square, you might write n f6 or knight f6. The k is reserved for the king. On a demonstration board, it works the same way. It's to help players write down their moves during a tournament game. Again, Letters from A to H, which denote the files, and the numbers from 1 to 8 that correspond to the ranks.